Hello, good day, everyone. I hope everything is going well with you. And I welcome you all to our subject, Purposive Communication Using English in Multilingual Context. I hope that you are in a comfortable seat wherever you are watching this pre-recorded video. And without further ado, let's start with our lessons for Unit 1, Language and Communication. So this unit is composed of three lessons, and these are the following. Lesson one, the nature of language. Lesson two, the types of communication. Lesson three, the communication processes, principles, and ethics. Okay, before we start, let's have first our learning outcomes for lesson one, nature of language. Our first learning outcome is to demonstrate an understanding of the key ideas in the language and communication. And our last learning outcome is to relate your personal experiences with the input provided. Okay, next. To start with our lesson, I have a question on board stated, what is language? So in one to two sentences, I want you to provide your own perspective on what is language, the importance of language, and why do we use language. And post your answer on the comment section within two days after I posted this pre-recorded video. And posting your answer beyond that day, then your answer, your answer will be considered as void. I hope that's clear. Okay? Sige, let's define language according to the book of Madronio and Martin. And by the way, please follow this format. State your full name first and followed by your answer. Okay, again, please follow this format. Not following, then automatic no score. Alalasya ka simple. Okay, let's start. Let's define language according to Madronio and uh, Martin. So what is language? Together with the creation of human life, it's the creation of a wonderful and dynamic human capacity, and that is language. So it means that humans have the capacity to use um, complex language far more than any other species on Earth. And we cooperate with each other to use language for communication because language is often used to communicate about and even construct and maintain our social world. But the question is, how do we actually use it? And to be sure, some of us use it to write diaries and poetry, but the primary form of language use is interpersonal communication. I know that you have in knowledge what is interpersonal communication. And if we say uh, interpersonal communication, interpersonal communication, it is the way of um, having a conversation with the other person virtually or personally. And that's how we learn language and that's how we use it, okay? And animals are said to be able to communicate with each other. The whales can sing, the wolves can howl, the dogs can bark, and the birds can chirp. And wait, and the sounds that these creatures produce often reflect the state of their emotions. While it, uh, it may be true that animals communicate, but remember, only human beings are capable of producing language. Yes, it is true that animals can communicate, but they are not capable of producing language. Only human can produce a language. And if you say, makakommunicate man, sir, kanada yung parot. Ang mga parot, ga-imitate lang na sila kung unsang imuhang istorya. Like for example, may istorya ka sa parot o 
Guapa ko. Ayan mo tubag ang parot. Pag sure oy. Hindi <laughs> siya in ano. Wimingon po ng parot. Guapa ko. So ga-imitate sila. Do they know? Kung kung si pasabot ato ay mo hanggi ingon o gato ila hanggi imitate. So wala. So dili sila capable of producing language and wala nila na sabtan kung unsa sa ang ila hanggi imitate or ila hanggi storya. And again, animals are said to be able to communicate with each other because of uh, the state of their emotions only. Okay? Because of the state of their emotions. To better understand, let's proceed with our next slide. Language is commonly defined as a means of communication. But if it is defined so, then there will be no difference between human communication and animal communication. The reason is both animals and human do have means to communicate. Okay? Lahit sila o ways and lahit sila means on how to communicate. Okay? I hope that's clear. Like for example, a monkey may be able to signal to its partner that is sharing food. The word signal. Oh, the signal lang sila. The monkey will produce sounds and gestures but will not be able to organize that sound into a meaningful system with rules. But on the other hand, human beings are able to communicate their desire to share food through several ways that are understandable to other human beings. So ang um, monkey daw, ego lang siya, musignal na mag-share siya sa iyahang food, sa iyahang monkey, ay sa iyahang kauban ng monkey. Hala na siya. With the use sa iyahang sounds and gesture. But ang human being can do signal to share food and many ways pag to understand other human beings. Like for example, a human being, they may utter word food. Ang monkey. Mo utter ba siya food? Kabright ba na ang monkey? <laughs> Next, raise a question. Want some food? Okay, mo na ang mga several ways that are understandable to other human beings on sharing food. Another, or, gi or give a statement, I'd like to share this food with you. Bongga kayo ang monkey, kung muingon ang monkey o ginana. I'd like to share this food with you. Diba? Dili. It's possible. Impossible. Diyan siya. Again, monkey may be able to signal to its partner that is sharing food with the use of their sounds and gestures. But only, uh, but um, human being maka produce like sound and gesture to share a food or many several ways that are understandable to other human beings. I hope that's clear. Next, what is language exactly? So linguists agree that a language can only be called a language if it has the following. Okay, it, if, if it has the following. So, ang sama ni siya nga mga aspeto para matawag ang language o language. First is the system of rule. System of rule or also known as grammar. So, ang language daw na asay grammar. Matawag na na siya nga language kung na asay follow nga grammar. Next is the phonology. What is phonology? Phonology is the study of how sounds are organized and used in a natural language. So in short, um, phonology it is the study of speech sounds. Again, huh? it, is, it is the study of speech sounds of a language or languages. And the term also phonology, it refers to the sound or sign system of any particular language variety and that is phonology next next aspect is the syntax syntax error the initial about mathematics <laughs> so syntax is the arrangement of words in sentences clauses and phrases so in short 
uh, syntax is the study of moto, uh, study of sentences and phrases, and the rules of grammar that sentences obey. So si system of rule o si syntax, magkapariyara na sila. Okay? Okay. Ang grammar, the talk gihapon na siya sa arrangement, the structure of words into sentences, in clauses, and in phrases. Okay? Again, parihara si system of rule o si syntax. Next, we have pragmatics. What is pragmatics? From the word pra, it's practical. The practical use of language. Giunsa siya paggamit. Or how human beings evaluate the language. Kung giunsa nila pag-utilize in social interaction as well as the relationship between the uh, sa nagstorya o ang namina. The sender and the receiver. And that is pragmatics. Next, we have morphology. So what is morphology? Morphology is the study of structure and form of words. So it is the study of words and their parts. And that is morphology. So in morphology, natay ginatawag nga morphemes. So ang morphemes, mo ni sila, am sila. Mo ni ang prefixes, suffixes, and base words. And morphemes, uh, ang morphemes defined as the smallest uh, meaningful units of meaning. And that is morpheme. And morphology is the structure and form of words. Maglibog ha kung unsa si morphology and morpheme. Si morphology ang magwang, siya ang structure and form of words. Si morpheme ang manghod, which defined as the smallest meaningful units of meaning. I hope that's clear and I hope wala may confusion about morphology and morphia. Last aspect, we have the semantics. So what is semantics? Oh, semantics is the study of meaning. <laughs> ano lang siya simple ang semantics. Gusto study siya sa mga references, sa meaning, and of course, sa truth. Mga na siya ang? Semantics. So these are the following aspects according to linguists na matawag ang language o language kung the follow sila ani nga mga aspect. The system of rule, phonology, syntax, pragmatics, morphology, and semantics. And by the way, linguist is um, someone who studies language and linguistics is the study of language. Okay, ha? Don't be confused about linguist and linguistics. Again, linguist is someone who studies language, while linguistics is a study of language. Okay, I hope that's clear. Next, language, the method of human communication, it's either spoken or written, consisting of the use of words in a structured and conventional way. And if you say conventional way, um, it refers to what is generally expected by people based on what is common at a specific time in a specific culture. And that is conventional way. Conventional way daw ang language. Next. Language is a system of words or signs that people use to express thoughts and feelings to each other. So if we say a system of words or sign, so it refers to the letters, the hand gestures, and body gestures to express thoughts and feelings to each other. Mana siya ang system of words and sign. Mana siya. Next. Like for example, ah, uh, like for example, kana mga sign, kana mag CR ka, hmm, manasha, and be, um, and be aware lang po dha if we say about what is sex, is ah, uh, sex gani manasha ang biological, so it's male or female. If you say gender, it's masculine and feminine, so dapat aware ta na kay sigaran bayan no. Ang uh, mabutang sa mga application form, 
gender niya, inyong gibutang, male or female. Dapat yung ibutang dito, feminine or masculine. Dapat sex to siya. Okay? Sex dapat ang ibutang. It's because it's biological. So, male or female siya. Ato alang gamitin. Wala na ilain pa. <laughs> Next. Language is a system of communication. It is a medium for thought and is social interaction. So, ang kaning last, ano yung system of communication, ang language po daw is a medium for thought and language is a social interaction. So, it means that it is where you are having a social interaction to the people that surrounds you. Mana siya ang language in terms of social interaction. Next, speech community. From the word itself, speech and community. O sa ang inyong una mahibawan. O sa inaas inyong ang una-una. Kung atong ilahi ang meaning sa speech o atong ilahi ang meaning sa community. Okay, let's find out. So speech community, when people use language and they can understand each other, then they belong to the same speech community. Ano siya simple. <laughs> like for example, the word mulangoy. And if I'm not mistaken, it is one of the Butuanan words. Um, mulangoy. If I'm not mistaken, lang asa example lang po. And if I talk to you, or like for example, if I talk to my friend nga Japanese and if he doesn't know what I mean, uh, what I am talking or asking about, naingon ko siya hanga. Kabalo ka mo lang oy, your Japanese friend ha. Again, kabalo ka mo lang oy. Then, nasi mga confusion, nasi mga kalibog. Kung wala siya kasabot, lumsi siya charot. Hindi <laughs> siya lumsan. So, pasabot ana, dili siya belong sa imuhang speech community kay wala siya kabalo sa imuhang gipang story ah. Kaya ang gi-state piya din hiya, they can understand each other and they belong to speech to the same speech community. So kata akong friend ni Japanese, dili siya belong sa speech community kay wa siya kabalo kung unsa ang word ni mulangoy. Okay? I hope that's clear. Like for example, um they can understand each other because in their speech community, people can share the same set of rules in the language system. So, kato kung Japanese friend, wala. Wala may uh, same uh, rules in terms of language system. So, mo nang, I considered my friend nga Japan, uh, I considered my friend nga Japanese nga dili siya belong sa akong speech community. Kaya wala siya kasabot sa ako ang istorya. Next. It is a group of people sharing a common language or dialect and that is a speech community. Okay? Timan ilang ninyo ang speech community kung kabalo siya mo sa buti mo ang istorya then he belong or she belongs to your speech community. Ano siya ha? Understand each other. Next, we have the language acquisition. So while growing up, people acquire the languages used by those in the community. And this is the process of language learning. So language learning, it is the process by which humans acquire the capacity to perceive and comprehend language in order, or in other words, to gain the ability to be aware of language and to understand it. And that is language acquisition, as well as to produce and use words and sentences to communicate. We are learning language. We are acquiring uh, more languages. So in short, uh, language acquisition or the language acquisition suggests that we are, uh, we are born with something in our genes that allows us to learn language. Like for example, the Spanish expression of uh, so my Spanish expression be wait. Uh, 